the house was built in 1661 by John Bowne, who was an English uh, settler who came here from England in around 1650. Nine generations of the Bowne and Parsons family lived here from 1661 up until 1945. This room was used as a parlor when the Bowne family was in residence here. A lot of the furniture in this room was owned by um, Mayor Walter Bowne, who was mayor in the city of New York from 1829 to 1832. Uh, this is the desk that he used that he had in his office. It opens and you, you have all the little storage in here. Um, it's beautifully made. And um, I think you could lock that if you had papers that you didn't want the casual person to see. Uh, these are candle stands. They're, they don't function anymore. Yeah, the Dutch shoes, the, these uh, wooden shoes, when they would work in the garden, in the farm. Um, it's very wet, the grounds, because it's a lot of it's below sea level. So the wood would keep their feet dry. This, this is the kitchen. The fireplace is unusually large for a house. It's, it's really quite massive and quite impressive. And the, the fire would be kept going most of the time. And the women would be tending you know, the cooking pots. And they would have several pots going. And they would move the, um, move the pots around according to what the temperature was on the fire. Um, this little nook over here was for bread. They would keep it in there for the yeast to rise. And then I guess they would bake it in some manner. They'd probably put coals in to get the, get the temperature up to the right. It's hard to imagine like, how to cook for such a big family, right? It would have been hard, and yeah. you'd have to keep the food going all the time. Mm -hmm. But you know what they ate. It was fairly simple food. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of stews. Um, they had a lot of soups, um, they had um, bread, they had uh, vegetables in season, and actually the diet in this country, um, because of the climate and the, the um, ability to, to get the food, grow the food, because they owned the land, they could grow the food. They would, they would basically eat out of one bowl and they might have plates or they might not. Um, these are early forks. They're not from the 17th century, but they have three tines instead of four, and the handles are made of bone. Sugar was very rare and expensive because it came from the Caribbean. And this was used to cut the sugar. They would trim it, they'd, so they just take off a little piece. They didn't really trust the water because sometimes it wasn't um, pure enough. They would have cider, apple cider, or they would have beer. The fermentation process would kill whatever germs there were. So, and the beer was watered down to the point where the, the alcohol content was minimal. They would even give it to children. Um, this was the room where the entire family lived originally in 1661, before they built that addition. They would have cooked here, slept here, um, ate here. They would have had probably a bed in this corner over here and a little loft where the children would sleep. George Fox uh, visited from England, visited Flushing. Um, he, he was a Quaker preacher. He was the founder, actually, of the Quaker religion. He supposedly slept on this bed in this, in this room. It was considered a place of honor. So not everyone could sleep near the fire. No, not everybody could. Not everybody could be by the fire. Yeah. No, that's a comfortable spot. Yeah. This house was lived in. So as far as intact, you know, where we've done the dendrochronology to date the wood, we are the oldest house, and we certainly are probably the only house that has the original furnishings in it. So we we really are quite unique.